Mr. J decides to say, and you're not gonna be miscontrolling today, right? All right. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> it pissed me off. Be wary, don't do any effort with your face. <gasps> what? Today I'm reacting to an episode from America's Next Top Model where the girls do a photo shoot in Morocco and the elimination shocked me and I gotta say I was wrong. I was wrong. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. I wake up in the morning and I feel really sick. I'm just waiting for myself to throw up, go brain. It's disgusting. It's gonna be a huge struggle for me today to like really What perform. Were they eating that? What is this? What is this, fear factor? Why, are they, why would she be eating goat brain? Did they make them eat goat brain? Now I have to look at this. Now I have to investigate. Why are they eating that? Unless they wanted to, but... That's so gross, man. Let's eat brain. Do we eat it with our hands? Oh. oh Alright. Okay, oh, ready, guys? You. Top four. Dude. Okay, so they voluntarily <laughs> ate it. Okay. okay oh, no! Wait! One, two, three. I mean... Yeah. The texture okay. of a brain is just squishy and gooey and disgusting. Brittany, and what do you do? Brittany, you can't do that. You can't do stuff like that. So she voluntarily ate it. If you didn't like it, just, you know, spit it into a napkin. You don't have to do all this. I just feel like that's a little overkill. It's just squishy and gooey and disgusting. Oh, and gosh. it was just not even, like, cooked. It was just gross and disgusting. Thank you. After all that, thank you so much. Thank you for making me sick. Good morning. How are you guys? Great. Well, we're here in bad. the Medina, which is the largest souk or outdoor market in Morocco. Before your shoot, we're literally going to be down in the market. You guys are going to oh, be styled okay, cool. in the designs by Issa London, who is dressed Scarlett Johansson, also Royal Kate Middleton. And remember, we want to continue the journey. Last week, we were on camels in the desert. We want that story to continue. Do we? Now, your Do we though? Today, he is a legend. He I don't think the camels want wanted Paris. that to continue. He has shot many supermodels. He was the Including Tyra. For Marie Claire France, Friedman House. Oh, okay. These are your four lucky ladies. So now what can you talk to them about in terms of bringing the story and the energy in this market for the shoot today? You should uh, do some movement here. Get immerse yourself into the local okay. culture. Okay, immerse. House is the immerse into the local culture. Now, I don't know that they're going to be able to immerse themselves in the Moroccan culture by taking pictures in a market, but it's it, it could be possible. It could be. They have to become Moroccan by the end of this photo shoot. Okay, that's what I heard. I'm like, okay, immerse yourself in the culture. Okay. Become, marry a Moroccan man. Find somebody. He is the man. He is shot with, like, so many supermodels. I mean, he's a big shot. I'm really excited about that. So let's go down to hair and makeup and get you guys all styled up. Let's do it. The music is so <laughs> Brittany, you guys do why, why is this, jet lag. Why are they doing that oh, no, sound effect? Jet lag. I just was like kind of sick last night. So I'm just kind of taking this time to be chill and then bring myself together. Okay. I'll be ready. Okay, so for those who don't know, Brittany is sick. Why? Because she decided to voluntarily eat a piece of goat brain and then just it was it was very dramatic okay she she didn't have to eat it but she did it and then she was like gagging in in in, in the market in morocco if i did what Brittany had done at that market my mom would have slapped me <laughs> my mom would have been like i'm just seen it them anyone who's arab knows what that means okay that means you're getting you you're gonna get your ass beat when you get home okay for embarrassing your whole entire family you can't turn down food otherwise it's disrespectful you have to eat everything that's on your plate if they put you more food you got to eat that like food is a very touchy subject in the middle east okay and again i know morocco is not in the middle east so i'm just saying like you know i feel like it's similar we're similar cultures so i feel like they're still copy and paste over there <laughs> but you're if you're moroccan you let me know what's the food situation like one time when i was in the middle east i drank pineapple juice 
like seven times that day, okay? Because every person's house I went to, they offered me pineapple juice and I just had to drink it even though I had just drank pineapple juice. Hey girl, today is gonna be like something really high couture. Okay. Inshallah. Yeah. The concept for the shoot today is continuing the story of the fashion caravan. This week, okay, the hair is already looking very questionable. Cinnabon like, inspired. You look gorgeous. You look spectacular. What is, what's, what's going on here with the hair? Okay, I'm not going to judge it too early. Let's just see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is fashion and I'm just going to look good in the pictures. I don't know. But it's looking like a Cinnabon to me. And I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I like the food, but I don't know how about the hairstyle. You look spectacular. I, I really want you to feel inspired by the environment. That story, that inspiration, that journey has to still come What journey? Cool. They came by plane to Morocco. Look straight. Live in that moment. Live in that Live moment. in the door. Be Hannah, the door. When you're out here, I think you're getting a little lost. It's more of a real moment as opposed to this wafty, weird thing. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. You open no, it the door again. You see your love, you take a moment. This photographer is very experienced. I wonder how he feels about Mr. J kind of interjecting to give his feedback to the girls. Because I feel like a photographer like that maybe would just want to direct it on his own because like that's his photo shoot but we have mr j like become the do be, be inspired by the by the uh, crevice of the door the crack of the door if i was a photographer i would not want mr j taking over my photo shoot like this i'd be like this i got it go over there and just look at the pictures okay and go get yourself some shy you open the door again <laughs> he's like you oh just open it again just open moment. the door <laughs> mr I, I love i love the 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 contrasting advice mr j is like you know just do you know you just feel inspired and then you, it's just as opposed to this you know the wafting movement and then you know just like really feel the moment and then this experienced photographer he's like just but open the door one more time okay yeah just crack it open just a little two and yeah thank you okay all right close it one more time I like imagine that my lover, the man that's gonna escort me through the city. So I like start trying to add some romance and some like excitement to the story. Right now you're looking very glazed the whole time. Deer in headlights. But nobody like seems to be like reading it on my face. Come out now, come out. I love this. Hannah is, I think she got a little lost. Come out of the she car. She started getting a little airy, fairy, and you kind of lost her features a little bit, Hannah. Different expressions, different moments. It's a little lost right now. Can you do it again? No, 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 I, love, I love this guy's. I love this guy's direction. He's just like, okay, open the car door, do it again. Like he's just very simple. Sometimes that's all you need, really. I think Mr. J in this moment is over directing. When you give too many instructions to the model, it's not always a good thing. No, no, she's a. Uh pretty but i think she does a little bit too much she's a little bit posing yeah okay hannah so we're, we're good my only thing is <laughs> he's like, like bye please leave things, but um go back to what you know okay cool. okay thanks mr j. all right thanks mr j tells me it looks like i have a question mark on my face it definitely freaks me out how'd it go <laughs> um i don't know i don't think mr j is too happy with me <sighs> I don't really know what was missing on my part to really do my job right. And I feel like today I didn't do um, the best that I could have done. Oh, this is a good example of what a lot of pressure looks like on a model. You have a crowd watching you. It's down to the last four girls. I wouldn't say it's a normal photo shoot situation because it, this is a competition for her and she's in it to win that final spot that final you know being america's next top model so i think it's added pressure on top of all of that trying to impress the not only the photographer but mr j and do a good job and you only you literally only get one look usually with something like this it's like if it's a campaign or whatever you get multiple looks you can get better as the day goes on but something like this you literally get that one look and you're done you do a good job you do a bad job that's it This is kind of your area to play. Okay. What a cool location. So profile. Yeah, my last two it. pictures have been my profile, yeah. so. Yeah. We just all have little things that we need to fix, and the challenge is going to be who can fix it, who can get the best pictures. And I think if it's all based on pictures, I think I'm going to be in the top two because I know I can take some freaking good pictures. Let's shoot it. Wow. 
Beautiful. Wow. No, don't slouch down into it. Still keep it stretched. Arch that back. Lean into she your She could hip. be like yes. sitting on it Money, or something. Um, I think she's very beautiful, modern, good editorial girl. Uh, yes. Down. Like, Her poses down. are great. Gorgeous. Wow. Good, good. I'm by this carriage, and then there's this huge crowd of people. Yeah. Very wow. pretty. I mean, hundreds of people all kind of staring at me like, ooh, oh what's my happening God. here? It was pretty awesome. She's good, huh? Yeah. All right, we're good. Wow. Yay. She, she, she did a great job. Love the poses. I wish she would have interacted more with the carriage, like sitting in the carriage, doing something like she's laying down in a cool way on the carriage. That could have been cool. But there's definitely a million people watching her. Look at, oh my god, they should be the judges for this episode. They tell us who the best model is. We interviewed like this this kid right here. We're like, okay, who who did the best, sir? Very who gets pretty. eliminated? Who gets to who gets to be the winner? Alexandria, the thing that just worries me the most, and I and I've been very vocal about it, is that when you are on camera, you have to let go. And I would hate to get to, you know, this place where we do a shoot today with you and it's so controlled. She didn't Habibi, she didn't even take the pictures yet. She didn't even why are we talking about this if she hasn't even gone yet, Mr. J? He's trying to set her up for failure already. He's already telling her, you're going to be this and this and this. He kind of does that. He's done that before to her, to Alexandria specifically. And he's done that to other models where he gives them this, this speech about how he thinks they're going to be for the photo shoot. Why? Like, let her, let her take the pictures, Mr. J. She didn't even go yet. Why are we talking about this? I would hate to get to, you know this place where we do a shoot today with you and it's so controlled that that's what's going to send you home. Mr. J decides to say, and you're not going to be miscontrolling today, right? All right. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> it pissed me off. That's what he was trying to do. That's exactly what he was trying to do. This girl, she didn't even get her makeup done. She took one breath. She drank a cup of water and he's like, Alexandria, we have a problem. There is a problem, Alexandria, yes. I am letting go of every single rain that I have. I know if I just have fun with it that in my heart, boosh. it's so that'll cute. deliver some magic the stuff. Uh, don't Pass. space the camera. Don't space. Okay. Spray the light is okay. there. Okay. I felt wow. beautiful. I was feeling this outfit. I felt like a princess that was disguised wow. as a prince. It was rad. With her lips, she's not going to relax. It's that thing she does all the time with her face. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's that. Why don't you guys talk to the model? Be comfortable. Yes. Be comfortable. I love how they're discussing what the model should be doing amongst themselves behind the screen and not to the model. Be comfortable. Be wary. Don't do any effort with your face. Okay. Okay. Don't lose your neck there, Alexandria. I got to watch Alexandria and she did not do so hot. I'm sure there's a lot of the times I think she looked like, which is not a good thing. Face to me. When Friedman told me to relax my face, I lost the fun. Control struck back. It showed in my face. I think, I think we got it, huh? Honestly, my... I really felt like she's doing amazing. I think the feedback from the photographer was a little, that was very, it was direct. And I, I think, I don't know, just the delivery. I think the delivery of the critique from the photographer, yeah, it was it. I don't know. I would, I would, I would have said it a little. I would have said it a little differently. She's modeling with just the outfit, and she's in the middle of this market. She's doing amazing. That's hard to do. I think we got it. Huh? In my heart, I gave it my all today. Good mover. You're a good mover. Thank you so she much. She really is good. I hope I got a good shot for panel. She did. She did so good. I mean, listen, from what I saw out of all of them, I think Alexandria did the best. I am easy to cut a little bit your hair. Feeling good? I'll be fine. Saving it all for the camera. Cool. I just feel like really blah right now, but I'm not going to let my illness my kind illness. of overshadow me at all. Brittany, you, you voluntarily ate the piece of goat brain. And I don't think, is that enough to get you sick? One little piece? I feel like it would just, you just throw up and then you're talking to someone who has a food throw up diary. I have to write down all the times I've, what I ate when I threw up just so I can know why I'm throwing up so much. So for Brittany to like, girl, 
you ate a little piece of goat brain, goat brain voluntarily. I don't think that's what got you. If that's what you claim got you sick, I don't know. Because I've eaten some, I've literally eaten like too much hummus and then it had too much acid and then I, then I threw up. So I don't know. It's going to be right about here. Awesome. I'm going to do this. I didn't come here to lose. I came here to win. My story is I was just very powerful and I found my destination while I was on the camel. I saw it and now I'm here. Okay. A long, long bottle of wine. It's just too far from the light. The the first step, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it looks good, Brittany. Beautiful. Yeah, super. Brittany certainly had the challenge of working with the rain, but just the way Brittany moved down the stairs and caressed the wooden She's door doing amazing. and bent her body over, it's like, I really believe that she reached this destination. I love Did the body okay. language. Oh, I love the little <laughs> smile. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Brittany, wow. she has a lot of natural elegance, moving very nicely. Yeah, she she's great. A lot of inspiration. Okay. I love okay. that. That's a wrap, everybody. Merci. Great job, Brittany. Good job, guys. Good job in the rain. Wow. This, she, she did amazing. And it was raining. That weather looked terrible, and she just pulled it out. See, when they don't have anything to model with, that's when I think, you know, who's a really good model. She was modeling with a door, and she was doing incredible. Maybe eating the goat brain was not a bad idea. I don't know. You did, you did amazing. You did, more, you did better than before. We have to see these final pictures, so let's go to the judging and see who gets eliminated. All right, Alexandria. You were photographed in the Medina. Let's see your best shot. Danielle? Wow. Oh, I love the color. I love how this was shot. Okay, what, what lighting is that, sir? What lens did you use, by chance? I love the movement in this picture. I love the colors so much. The editing is, like, it's just so simple, but it's beautiful. Daniela, these clothes are wonderful. Alexandra, you look as if you've lost your mind. What? In a good I was going to say, she way. looks so pretty. Interesting way. I, I'm trying to hook into the narrative. What she looks gorgeous. I was with a hat and a vest and pants, so I was picturing more like I was in a disguised princess boy being in the marketplace. Alexandria, I actually think you look very beautiful in this picture, although I wish you'd just oh, done a little thank bit more you. of your body. I don't understand the story. I think her eyes look very mysterious <laughs> somehow, and it looks very beautiful. I really like thank it. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. I'm, I'm not necessarily getting high fashion. I'm getting Condé Nast Traveler. Okay. In order okay. to be What's, editorial, what is that? What is have an edge. <laughs> Can you translate that for us peasants? In order to be editorial, in order to have an edge, you've got to almost Not do the reverse. Not Kanye Traveler. actually look a little bit more messed up, scruntled, okay, be messed up. It would create that mystery. It would take you okay, away be from Kanye Traveler and put you in Kanye Nast Rogue. Okay, be in Thank the, you. Thank you. the Scooby-Doo uh, van. Brittany. Mysterious. Okay. Who is trying to rock a little Morocco with that scarf, but it is cutting your neck off and making you look older than you are. Is it? <laughs> Let's see your best shot. Can you guys tell what's wrong with this picture? I'll give you a second. Where is her right arm? It's completely gone. It's just her one arm. Doesn't that, does anyone else find that weird? Like, that's the first thing I noticed. Why would they choose this picture? I don't think the photographer would choose this photo. Something's not right here. Beautiful. I love the whole kind of hips up against the wall, looking away, one eye showing. Fortunately, you completely lost your other arm. Yeah. Because as a result, it looks as if yeah. you actually might actually be missing an arm. I would like to see a touch of arm. Here's a touch of arm. <laughs> you can see this. Look at this. There's your, there's your arm. <laughs> I love it. And I, the most wonderful thing is the way you've broken your body. I don't see high fashion magazine, but I think you're a little bit closer to a high fashion magazine than Alexandria, possibly. Possibly, yes, yes. Okay, why, yes. why, why name drop Alexandria on that? What, how? I don't even. I don't even agree with that because. She's literally missing her entire arm from the picture. And you're saying that's more high fashion than the fashion, literally the street fashion shot that we saw from Alexandria? I don't agree. Hannah, are you ready to see your best shot in the Medina? This is a really nice photo shoot. I love the photographer that they chose. I like the scenes, like the composition is great. Only thing about this photo is her leg is missing, sort of. And then I just wish that she was more natural in her movement. Like she was, it was less structured. Unusual. 
interesting. I actually think the, the pose and the, the, the body language is perhaps the most editorial out of any of the pictures I've seen so far. Yeah. I wish your face, though, had a different expression, a different look. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you've worked your angles here. I disagree with you. I think she looks lovely to me. Because your dress is looking good. Yeah. You look great on her, the dress. I think Hannah did very well. Congratulations. She's so, like, who are you, Ente? Who are you? What's your name? She's so cute. What a, she's just good energy. She's like one of those people who you want to hang out with if you're having a bad day. Wonderful as the dress is, as wonderful as your leg is. Where are you going? So far, we have not had a wow moment. Okay, Hannah, fashion kind of likes extremes. You're kind of here nor there in this photo. Your face is neither angular nor round, which makes it kind of just fall flat. You have to learn your face and make the decision. Am I gonna learn show the face. roundness of my face? Am I gonna show the angle? What am I going to do? Okay? Thank you. Thank you. I've never heard Last that before. Last but not least, Molly. Do you wanna... Am I gonna learn the round roundness of my face? I don't get it. The photographer is taking the picture. I feel like it should be the photographer who's really thinking about that. I mean, the model is there to pose, of course, but it's really model plus photographer. We really, truly are a team. So, again, with these judgings where a lot of it is just on the model, that's I don't necessarily agree with that because we are the ones taking the picture at the end of the day. So we could take a bad picture and just give it to the model and be like, you did a terrible job, even though we had better pictures we could choose from but they wouldn't know that because they're not seeing all the pictures like we do do not like my scarf oh, either <laughs> thank you toss it extravagantly yes, yes. Okay. molly you are in the medina let's see your best shot well, it wow these colors are so good wow Be gorgeous love yes i just wish they didn't crop the hand but i mean it's a great picture love this photo shoot Yo, I'm copying this whole lighting setup. I'm taking notes after this. I'm going to be like, okay, and uh, a softbox? Okay, yes. I'm ordering all the gear after this that, that he used. Same camera, everything. Well, at last, is drama a here. Franco Sassani page. And it's high fashion. It's certainly giving me an Oriental Express feeling. So good. I love your body language, the way you pose. It's very nice. It's real drama. You've committed her. to it the whole way. And that's, a, that's the important part of this. You know, is that there's something there as an image to be sold as an advertising campaign, and I'm taken somewhere. You do a great job of showing the clothes, but not doing it in a way where it's like catalog. Look at my watch. Look at my headband. Look at my necklace. You know, you do it in a way where, yeah, look at look my Look at the earrings. scarf look that I made her throw on the floor. Look at this dress, look at this bracelet, look at these pants. Don't you want it? Yeah, and I'm in high fashion. I'm in Italian Vogue, baby, what? That's what you do well. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> It is now time for the judges to do Okay, wow. This is going to be a tough one because I don't know who's going home for once. I can't even guess who's going to get eliminated. But you know what? I can guess what my website is currently sponsored, but it's not really a guess. Anyways, it's sponsored by Squarespace. <laughs> I want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for you to build your business and brand online. I've been using it for so many years. I absolutely love it. That's why I recommend it to you guys. Whatever you're looking to bring to life, whether that's a project, you wanna show off your pictures, you wanna open up a store, you can do it using Squarespace. They have designer templates, which you can switch out with just a click of a button. And the thing I like most is that it's really easy to use. They have drag and drop features. You literally click a picture, you drag it to where you want it to go and it live updates. So you can see how it looks on your website. And there's no plugins or anything you have to install or worry about. So you never have to worry about just things crashing on your website. And if you do have any issues, they have 24 hour customer support. So someone's always there to help you, which is why I just love Squarespace. You can start a free trial by going to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All the information will be in the description. Okay, I honestly don't know who's gonna go home. If you really, really want me to guess, they're not going to get rid of Alexandria because they like the drama. Um, maybe Hannah. Hannah or Brit? No, Brittany's not. Hannah. Hannah's going home. Congratulations, Brittany. Oh God. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Thank you. Is Hannah going home? Will Alexandria and Hannah please step forward? No. Am I right? I don't want to be right. Two beautiful young ladies stand before me, but I only have one photo in my hands. 
And this photo you could have too. The girl that is still running towards becoming America's next top model. I'll only call one name and the girl that I do not call myself. Okay, Tyra, we'll live her the 17th time. Especially in the fashion industry, say, oh, blondes, blondes, they're all the same, they're all the same. Do they say, who said that, yeah, Tyra? <laughs> and I think you, Alexandria, and you, Hannah, both have very interesting and unique looks and personalities. There are other things that make you all different from each other as well. Alexandria, you, too much control. If Hold I, listen. I have to I have to pause. I'm sorry. Th this it's like we get it. You're trying to make her seem like she's it's this is too much. Every 2 minutes they're like uh, controlling. You're controlling. Don't control. This is just a way for them to push the narrative on her. They w I'm I'm done. I, they it's too much. Alexandria, you too much control. Holding on to the handlebars of control. To wear your photo this week didn't look high fashion. One of the judges said that you looked like a flight attendant. What? And then we have Hannah, the complete opposite, lacks control. Sometimes you get in your photos and we don't know what Hannah's doing. And then Hannah's face doesn't know what it's doing either. So who stays in this competition? Lacks control to controlling. How convenient. some of the strongest pictures in this competition. You have had pictures that have taken my breath away. But you're but you still breathing. Some timey. You have to bring it every single time. Did she say some timey? <laughs> Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next Yo, I kind of love that. Okay, shake it out. Relax. Don't be too controlling while you walk up there. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sure. So you have to relax. Yes. Okay, yes. I look at your film, especially this week, and it's this, this mouth. Mm. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You have bone, 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 bone. Uh, like angles. what you're doing right now. Just let it be. Okay. Thank you so much. I failed myself. I did my best. This is what I love to do. It's maybe that's why I was controlling too much. You're not controlling. It's terrible that they made her think that she's too controlling when I don't think she was. I think it was just basic communication with like she asked the photographer one thing. Oh, how are you, sir? Alexandria, you're too controlling. And that that's enough for them to be like, she's this, she's this. I think she w there's it was no winning. There was no winning for Alexandria. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of shocked. I'm usually right about the eliminations, but that, like I, that was surprising to me. I was not expecting Alexandria to get eliminated. I thought she did a really great job. I think all the models did really well, but honestly, out of all of them, in terms of what I actually saw during the modeling portion, Hannah d wasn't the strongest. I think she's an amazing model, though. All of them did so well, but I'm just saying like from that portion. Alexandria did so well modeling during the portion that we saw, so that's why I think I just was not expecting it. Did you guys agree with Alexandria getting eliminated? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you in my next video.